Alright guys, so today I'm gonna be sharing with you Alright guys, so today I'm gonna be sharing with you I'm gonna be sharing with you the haul of things that I recently got while yard sailing. So this would have been from the last yard sale footage. Uh so I don't I don't know if I've ever told you guys before, like you realize, but I don't always film at every single yard sale. That's why you see some stuff that you don't actually see me pick up because I'm not constantly like always filming. Uh so it wasn't even a whole lot of yard sale footage, but I got a lot of stuff. So we're just going to go over everything in no particular order. So I did pick up these little uh, dolls. They sit really cute and they're absolutely adorable. Um, definitely have that like folk art kind of look to them. Now the brand of these is called Gathered Traditions and I have recently purchased, I don't know if you guys remember, there was a snowman that I purchased like kind of similar to this like cloth doll style um, that you know can sit at a yard sale and it was also by Gathered Traditions and I knew when I bought that snowman that that uh, particular brand does sell high because they cost they cost a lot like originally um, but I saw I saw these two for sale actually on Facebook marketplace this would have been quite a few months ago and I was gonna contact the person and buy them because I was gonna buy them to resell and they had them listed for more than $15 at the time, but I was still willing to pay what they had. I think they had a, like, I think they had them for sale for 20, but I can't remember exactly. So anyway, I'm at this yard sale and I see them and I asked the lady, I was like, did you have these on Facebook marketplace? Because I know I had seen them before and she said, yes. So I, I told her that I was um, thinking about buying them. Uh, back when I saw them on Facebook marketplace, but I didn't and then I see them at the yard sale and it's like, okay It's fate. It's meant to be I was meant to have these little pilgrim dolls So I did pick them up and she had $15 on these for the pair. So that's still a really good deal for them um, I did list these with a buy it now for $59.99 so it might take a little while for them to sell since they are more like a Thanksgiving type of thing, but we'll see. And she also had another set, but when I was at this yard sale that she was at, she told me she was having a yard sale of her own a couple, like a week or so later um, and to stop by her house uh, because she was going to have um, another set for sale. And I did go to her sale and I picked those up and you'll see them in another yard sale haul. So also from her, she had a lot of nice stuff and I probably should have got more than what I did. But I didn't have a lot of money on me at the time that I stopped at this sale. But I did take this little guy here. It's just this little ghosty um, looking thing. I love stuff that just looks like this. You can pop his... Uh, top off and like stick stuff in there. There's just like some silica uh, beads in there uh, But he was I believe two dollars. I don't even know if I wrote him down or no I think I have three dollars on here. So he was three dollars and he's by a company called Joanna Parker for Bethany Lowe designs. I know when I looked that up. This is another brand that um, To buy it retail is on the pricey side That was literally a bulldozer going by. <laughs> Not just sound like a bulldozer, it's literally a bulldozer. Anyway, uh, but this is the kind of stuff I absolutely love as far as like decorating for holidays go. So I got this for me. So he is not for sale. Then at another yard sale, I found these. And this is another like folk art kind of brand. Uh, that I love and I have a couple pieces from this designer too and this is by Lori Mitchell is the designer on these. I absolutely love uh, holiday figures especially Santas and stuff like that that have these little stick legs. I just oh my gosh I'm so 
just whenever I see them I go gaga over them like I have to have them so these are more like a 4th of July kind of set I don't really decorate for 4th of July uh, I typically only decorate for Halloween and Christmas but I couldn't let these sit so I had to get them um let's see I purchased these for ten dollars so five dollars a piece but again, that's still a great deal on these. And I have them listed for a buy it now of $55.99. So if you were to sell just the one, people have them listed for like pretty much $30 just for one of them. And this one is the set. And there's someone else that has this the same set listed for higher than my price and theirs isn't in as good condition like the flag on the little girl is all faded and stuff and these are in beautiful shape so I got those I wish that they were Halloween related or Christmas related but had they been they wouldn't have been for sale so I got those right I found a Disney plush of Maleficent and she still has her tags attached she was a 60th anniversary a plush doll so for her I paid one dollar and I have her listed as a buy it now for twenty seven dollars and ninety nine cents so that was a nice find Disney new with tag and a villain <laughs> I like the villains I got a couple vintage uh, pieces that have this little guy on this was made by Fisher Price back in the 80s it's called the Teddy Betty Bear and this is the plush version. He's got, he's holding his little blankie in his hands. So I paid $1 for him. And I have him listed as a buy it now for $29.99. So a lot of the plushes that you see of him, he's missing his blankie. Uh, but this one actually still has it. So I got him. At the same sale, I got two vintage baby like receiving blankets and these also have the teddy betty bear on them so i got both of these and i paid a dollar a piece for them so two dollars and i listed them on auction because i wasn't quite sure what to ask for them especially since there was two uh, but i listed them on auction with a starting price of 25 dollars and 99 cents so we'll see i know some baby like vintage baby blankets can sell really high but i just didn't know if these ones in particular would be you know a salt after one or not this perfume bottle i thought this was really pretty it's white with this pink floral design and then there's a stopper on it that comes out so you could put perfume in this, um, body oil, any kind of like liquid basically. And it's by a company called Nasco is what it says there on the bottom. I paid $2 for this. Unfortunately, it's not really worth a whole lot. Um, but I do have it listed as a buy it now for um, $12.99. So I just thought it was pretty and I'm just drawn to um, perfume bottles and things of that nature. I also got this, I bought a couple of things for myself this past week. Um, I got this Dooney and Burke black leather wallet. This is so pretty. I love it and it's in like brand new condition. So I did pay $15 for this which is a great deal um, especially since I am keeping it for myself. They had a bunch of other really nice Dooney and Burke items. Pretty much um, the wallets were 15 and I think the purses were 30 which still is a good deal but um, I wasn't I wasn't ready to pay those prices at at the yard sale that day. <laughs> Sometimes like you can go through your money really quick and I figured for 15 uh, for me to keep that, I think, you know, that was a great deal. So I got that for myself. I found this vintage. This is from 1998. It is a VHS tape, but it was put out by Nintendo. Um, it's like a promo VHS tape that I guess has three different trailers of three different games for the Nintendo 64. But what I really liked about this was not only is it vintage, but it's still sealed. It was never opened. Um, and one of the games on here that's featured is a Kobe Bryant game. So I figured 
somebody who um, collects video games and stuff like that, which there is a lot of video game collectors out there who want brand new sealed items, I thought this would be a really cool find, like potentially hard to find. So I paid a dollar for this and I did see one sell for 30 that was sealed. So I listed mine as a buy it now for $29.99. So we'll see if that sells quickly or if it takes a while. There are other ones listed, obviously a lot less than that, but those ones aren't sealed. I got this for myself as well. This is a Scentsy um, wax tart. These were $1 and they're in the scent porch pumpkin. So this is like a perfect fall scent. Oh my gosh, I just, oh, I love fall fragrances. I love fall, I can't wait for fall. Um, so I got those for myself. I did get this set of um, Bath and Body Works. Uh, this is a body spray and a body cream. These are new. I did pay $8 for these, so $4 a piece. Now, typically, with Bath & Body Works stuff at yard sales, I don't like to pay much for them. Um, so, like, $4 a piece, it, it doesn't, you know, it's really not all that bad, but $8 for a set. Um, but the thing is, like, if you find, like, paired items... If you sell them together as a lot, as a pair, you'll potentially make a little more than if you would just try and sell them separately, kind of thing. So I did list these as a buy it now for $29.99. So the fragrance isn't um, super new, but it's not really old either. So um, I'm not sure how long those will take necessarily to sell. I also got some more Bath & Body Works, but these were for myself. It is a Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Body Spray. This was 50 cents, and then I also got the um, Pumpkin Marshmallow Latte Hand Cream, so that was 50 cents as well, so a dollar for both of these. I don't think this fragrance is really sought after quite yet because I'm pretty sure that they still, you know, bring it out during the fall months. Um, so I'm probably keeping those for myself. I don't have those listed. I got two pairs of shoes for myself. I told you guys, like I got a lot, I found a lot of stuff for myself um, this time around. I got these white Converse that just look like this and they're in like brand new condition. Just a, like a basic white canvas sneaker. So I'm sure I'll get these like super dirty the very first time I wear them. Uh, but I only paid $3 for them. So I thought that was a great deal for a pair of sneakers. And then at the same sale, I got these ones and these are black vans again in brand new condition. They have like a um, perforated kind of look to them. And yeah, just they don't even look like they were ever used. And again, I only paid $3 for them. So got those for myself. Great score there on shoes. Another item I got for myself was this garden flag. How cute is this? So it has a little uh, froggy on it. I'm sitting on some pumpkins and it says got candy with a question mark. So I'll put that out um, during Halloween. And that I paid just 50 cents for. So it's rare that I come across these garden flags that I just kind of fall in love with. Usually I have to order the ones that I really want online because the ones I see out at yard sales aren't anything that really interests me or they're like super duper faded kind of thing. Oh, what do you know? It's something else for me. Well, this is for you guys as well. I got a pack of just blank uh, note cards that have cactuses on them for a quarter so I'll use those to write thank you notes they were originally from Target for a dollar but you can't beat it for a quarter so I picked those up you guys are probably like my goodness did you buy everything for yourself <laughs> not everything uh, but I did get this as well for myself I paid two two dollars for this so I got this at a yard sale where um, the man said his wife uh, sells at the flea market a lot a lot of jewelry at the flea market and she was getting rid of some of her uh, display pieces that she no longer uses 
and this is like a hand but it's kind of got a hollowed out area here so you could like you know store stuff there and hang rings on it the bulldozer is back <laughs> I don't know what they're doing anyway you could put your rings on it or like hang necklaces from it or whatnot um but i got this to potentially use when i'm taking pictures of jewelry or even like when i have yard sales of my own or anything like that i can use it to display so i thought that was a good deal for two dollars and then i also took this one and this one was two dollars and fifty cents so it's made of this like well, it's probably cardboard underneath, but it has this straw type look and it's like a, you know, a bust. So you could display your necklaces on here. I thought it was really nice. Like it was really nice quality. Um, so again, I got this to display pieces of jewelry on that I am going to, you know, resell. But again, you could use it for, you know, when you're having a yard sale and stuff like that. So... I was actually at the antique store not that long ago because I know that they sell displays there for people, you know, who have booths in there. But theirs were all just like these flat cardboard type busts. And I just wanted something a little nicer than that. And I found one. So I'm glad I held out and waited because like a couple weeks later, I found those. So I got to that. Um, I picked up this. I picked up this um straw hen basket i just kind of fell in love with it it's really cute it's made by a company called shanghai handicrafts i have an owl that is made the same way as this hen by the same company and it still hasn't sold yet i do have a price a little high but it seems like a lot of stuff that is made by this brand is priced high i mean it's really nicely made and obviously vintage so i did get him even though my last shanghai handicrafts item did not sell yet uh but i paid a dollar for this and i have it listed as a buy it now for 19 dollars 99 so he's just like a lidded bowl so i got him i got two old um christopher pike books I used to love reading these when I was younger. It was like these and the R.L. Stein, like Fear Street series where I always had my nose in one of these books. But out of the two, I liked Christopher Pike better because his stories were a little more dark, a little more scarier, and usually involved a little more romance. Mm -hmm. So I definitely enjoyed the Christopher Pikes more than the R.L. Steins. But anyway, I kind of got these for myself, but I kind of got, like, I'm going to put these in my bookcase. I haven't listed them yet. Um, and then I'm just going to see if in my travels of yard selling and thrifting, if I find any more. And then if I potentially kind of get a larger lot together, then I might sell them. Or I might hang on to them because I sold all of mine from when I was younger. And, you know, sometimes you just want to open up one of these books and go back in time and, you know, reread it again. So this one is The Last Vampire and this one is The Last Vampire 2. I know that there was other ones after this. Um, actually, this isn't my favorite Christopher Pike story. I mean, I liked this series, but it wasn't my favorite. Um, but I had to pick those up and I paid, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I paid 50 cents a piece. So a dollar for those. I did get this piece of jewelry. This is another Bella Perlina bracelet. I have sold Bella per Perlina bracelets in the past. I have a set currently listed that hasn't sold yet. Um, but I can't say no to them. I just think they're so pretty. So this one is, you know, like a charm type bracelet. So you can switch out the charms or add charms to it. Um, so it just looks like that. And I paid $1 for it. And I have that listed for a buy it now of $19.99. I did get one mug. This is a Disney Epcot mug it says one mouse one world and it just has like mickey's face all over it with different uh flags the inside is blue and then on the handle it kind of has like a 3d feel to it 
So I paid 75 cents for this mug and I have it listed with a buy it now for $15.99. I got this philosophy perfume this was a really nice find um it's called the fragrance is called sea of love this is a huge bottle it's four fluid ounces and it looks to be in brand new condition it smells really nice it's got it's got like a like a fresh kind of watery summer fragrance to it um, I'm not keeping it for myself though. I paid two dollars for it. It's not really worth like a ton or anything like that um, But I do have it listed as a buy it now for twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I got this sweater It's just a leopard print um, Long sleeve sweater by Morona. I got this for myself. It was one dollar. I figured if it didn't fit or I didn't like it. I mean, I'd list it then, but I tried it on. It fits okay. I don't really care for the length of it. I wish it were a little bit longer. It's um, slightly on the shorter side, uh, but I am going to keep keep it, hang on to it, and see how I feel um, come fall once I start wearing some sweaters. Um, so if I continue to enjoy it, I'll keep it. If not, um, I'll probably throw it up online. I also got this jewelry display. I almost forgot about it. This one is just like a black velvet, um, you know, you could lay a bracelet over top of it or a watch or that kind of thing. Again, I picked it up to use to take pictures with. Um, a lot of the other, you know, displays that I typically see, especially like the necklaces and stuff, are made with this like black velvet overlay and I don't care for those just because it gets so linty. I don't know if it's showing right now but I feel like I'm just going to constantly have to um, take a lint roller over it but I don't have something like this and I thought it would come in handy so I just grabbed it and this I paid one dollar for so I'm glad I found her yard sale. She had other stuff as well but I didn't really need any 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 other things that she had. Uh, I got a Victoria's Secret lotion. This is in Pure Seduction Flirt. Um, not really worth a whole lot, I don't believe. I paid 50 cents for it, so I'm gonna hang on to it, probably maybe just even use it myself. It has been used, you can see there's some, but it feels full, so I'll probably just um, hang on to that and keep it for myself. I did get this Candies perfume. So this has been used. You can see how full it is. It smells so good. I really like the smell of it. Um, the scent is called Luscious. Uh, this here I paid $1 for and I have it listed for $19.99. I got this baggie of Clinique chubby stick um, color like lip balms or like a lipstick but in like a pencil kind of form. I paid one dollar for these and I listed them all together as a lot. Um, again also for $19.99. So there's a lot of different shades in there. I got this talcum powder. Um, when I looked up this brand, um, some of the prices are kind of high. It seems like um, a good brand. It's called Peck Sniffs England. It's uh, called a luxury talcum powder in the scent sandalwood vanilla and it was made in England and I paid, what did I pay for this? 50 cents and I have it listed as a buy it now for $19.99. It is opened, um, I'm, it feels full, like it doesn't feel like anything is missing from it. Um, so I don't know, maybe someone just opened it to smell it and then didn't care for the scent. I think it smells nice, uh, but I picked that up. All right, next we have a this was a good find. This is a men's button-up work shirt. It's a Mac Tools, Mac Tools button-up work shirt. And this is what the back looks like. It has this really awesome graphic there on the back. So I paid $2 for this. And I showed Eric and I think he wants to keep it. So he hasn't tried it on yet. So if he likes it and it fits okay, 
he's probably going to keep it, but if it doesn't fit or something like that, then you'll probably see it listed. Um, but he likes to wear these types of shirts when he's out on his motorcycle, so he may be keeping that. Also at the same sale, I got this one. <laughs> Just, if any children are watching right now, make them look away. Um, I got this like cut off denim vest but not vest um it's got it's, it's got a lady above the pocket there a little risque and on the back it's a much larger one and it says wide open cycles is the name that's on it so again that was two dollars and this i do have listed <laughs> eric didn't want this one um this one I have listed for, I believe I listed at $39.99. So we'll see if that goes. I got one vintage trucker uh, mesh snapback hat. This one is yellow and it says Martin's barbecue waffle on it. These are potato chips. Um, I live in like pretty much, I think it's like this, the snack food capital of the United States, there's all sorts of different snack food um, companies around me. And Martin's is like down the street. Um, as well as Oots, Snyder's, and I know that there's a, a Frito-Lay close by. Um, Ouija, Pretzels, and I can't even think of everything else. Um, but anyway, so... <laughs> I love these potato chips. They're like one of my favorite. Uh, so I did get this. And it does appear to be vintage. Um, trucker snapback hat. I did pay a dollar for this. I have it listed as a buy it now for $49.99. I know that's a little high, a little crazy. Um, I didn't see any listed. So I didn't really know what to go buy. And we're just going to see. We're going to see. I think I do have offers, you know, available. So if, like, someone sends me an offer for it that sounds okay, then I'll probably just take it. I found this vintage Pixie Elf. I rarely, I feel like, come across the Pixies very often, but I like to pick them up when I do see them. I paid 50 cents for this. He's not, I mean, he's in okay condition, but he does have some flaws. He's got um, a repair on his foot, and then he does have, like, a couple chips here along the sides of him. But he's standing on this leaf, so you could, like, use it kind of like a trinket dish or whatnot. But I had to save him for 50 cents, and I put him up um, for $19.99. So we'll see if he sells or not, but I couldn't say no. I mean, look at that face. How do you say no to that face? You can't. I got a bag full of vintage Barbie dolls and Barbie items. Didn't really know what I was getting into with this. I just, I kind of took a chance on it. Um, I listed three things so far out of this bag and the rest I have to do a little more research on. That's the only problem with buying like bags full of um, Barbies and accessories and that kind of thing, like little small toys. It takes a while to research stuff to see if there's anything out of there that's worth listing by itself or, you know, lotting up with other pieces. So I paid $10 for this bag. I'll show you what I listed by themselves first, and then I'll kind of go through the rest of what was in the bag. The first thing was, uh, the first thing was this vintage Ken doll. And there was a vintage um, Ken doll size pajamas in the bag. So I put them on him because he was nude at first. And he is from 1968, so he's definitely an older Ken doll. So this already has a bid. I put him up on auction with a starting price of $12.99, and he does have a bid. So that right there pays for my bag. So anything else that I sell will be profit. I also listed this Barbie by herself. I listed her um, how she was nude. Um, just in case there's anyone who 
you know, uses these for, um, to make other, you know, the one of a kind or the OOAK dolls where they like DIY them. She is from 1966. So she does have a little bit of issue on her feet where there does seem to be like some chew marks. So I don't know if she'll sell or not, but I listed her um, on auction with a starting price of $12.99 as well. And then this was in there. This is a vintage Seawees doll. She's from 1979, but I remember these. I had some Seawees and I listed her um, for $19.99. So these dolls are a little more harder to find. So that was a nice nice little find in that bag and then I'll show you the rest of what was in that bag and if anyone like recognizes any of these pieces and wants to chime in in the comments of like you know what Barbie it is or what what it uh, potentially had gone with 1967 so this looks like potentially like a skipper doll or an older skipper I don't know when skipper first like appeared kind of thing this Barbie was in there as well, and she's wearing this dress. I don't know if it was handmade. There's like a thing on her back, but she's definitely not doing anything. So I'm thinking her head mechanisms or whatever are broken. Looks like she's marked 1965. There was this little doll in there. I'm not quite sure who she is if anything or just like you know like a little random generic doll I'm not quite sure I believe this one is a Topper Dawn doll potentially um I did sell some Topper Dawns like a very long time ago and they were like pretty well this size so I'll have to do a little research on that just to make sure that's what it is and um, there was this doll here. She's really cute. And, um, but unfortunately her jacket, like whatever was on this meshy part, this like white stuff, it all flaked off. So, but I mean, I feel like she's complete otherwise. Like I did see her, uh, shoes in this bag, but I just don't know since her jacket isn't in the best condition, if she's going to be worth um, listing by herself loose. This looks like, um, in this bag is stuff that probably went to that last Barbie that I showed you. Um, there's like a little cardboard jukebox and apparently you can switch out her earrings because they're just like cardboard earrings. So there's like a thing that has those on. Then there's some um, just random pieces of clothes that I just don't know if they're handmade. I don't know. <laughs> this looks like it goes to Ken, Ken Vest. This is a little black velvet dress, a little corduroy uh, vest. This appears to be a dress, a blue raincoat, looks like the zipper might be broken on that, a little pink sheer top. This one's cool. This is like a striped robe. This almost looks like it would be for Ken as well, potentially. This feels like real fur. Again, I don't know if it's like handmade or anything like that, but it looks like a wrap or something. There's two holes here though, like for, to put arms in, but that definitely feels like rabbit fur to me. There were these shorts, which I feel like definitely don't go to any Barbie doll because they're like very big. There are these striped shorts, which look like potentially to Ken. This dress, it's definitely not in the best condition. There's a stain, but it has this nice long um, train on it. Oh, this one's cool too. These are like 
flare bottom, like bell bottom jumpsuit. That's really cute. There's this plastic baby. <laughs> this looks like it goes to a little baby doll. This also looks like maybe to a Ken doll. Looks like a little tuxedo or something. Maybe not. Maybe a baby doll. Um, this little sheer skirt. Oh, this does have a tag. This says Tammy Japan on it. If anyone recognizes that, I'll have to research that. And then there was some hangers and some other random little pieces of clothes. These look like a little pair of panties. The shoes that go to that one doll. This is a hanger that says Susie Goose. I don't know if that was some sort of doll. Some Barbie hangers. The other shoe to the doll. A little comb, another Susie Goose hanger, another Barbie hanger. So that whole bag for ten dollars. Um, I'm not quite sure, like I said, what I'm gonna do with the rest of it. If I should just lot that lot the rest of it up all together and try and just sell it all as it is. Maybe there's a piece or two out of there that someone like really wants to complete any kind of. A collection or anything like that. I don't know. That's the only that's the, the only hard part about buying stuff like that is just figuring out um, if it one if it's worth getting. Two, is it worth the time going through and sorting it out? And three, like, is it even gonna sell? Kind of thing. So it's hard to say. We'll see though. You guys will know obviously in cha-chings if any of it has successfully sold <laughs> and that kind of thing. That is pretty much everything for this yard sale haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. You have to let me know what you thought down in the comments. Would you have picked up that bag of Barbie stuff for $10 or would you have let it sit? You have to let me know. I did just buy um, in my last yard sale haul that uh, tote full of Monster High dolls and that definitely panned out well. I sold quite a few of those. Um, so I did, you know, I made my money back and I started profiting pretty good off of the Monster High dolls. But I really don't know a whole lot about um, Barbie stuff. Um, obviously, I recognize the ones from my childhood. But, you know, I don't recognize the ones that are older than that or even like the ones that would be like out nowadays. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.